We have a PN junction diode kit available. We have a voltmeter. We have a A meter and uh, we have a voltage uh, source for 3 volt and 30 volt okay so first we talk about connection diagram what we are going to do first we talk about the forward bias forward bias PN junction diode this is our diode and what we will do we know it is a P side it is a M side so we will apply a voltage source Having the positive side of from P side, after that we will put an ammeter to measure our current and there will be a resistance in this circuit to stabilize it and to know about what is the voltage we are applying, we will apply a voltage meter. Better than. meter. What we will do, we are going to plot a diagram where on x axis we will take voltage on y axis we will take current in milli ampere in volts and we will check what is the threshold and on which voltage the current is started spiking up ok so first we make connections as we check our circuit diagram we have the positive connected with the p side of the di diode so it is our 3 volt voltage source we connect this positive to this P side of and from negative we connect our ammeter this ammeter goes back into the negative side of our voltage and parallelly in our circuit we connect this voltage source with our voltmeter with our voltage source our operators from this on off button this LED will blow up when we on this but in forward wise we need lesser voltage source and current will be in milliampere as we shown our diagram so we with use of this toggle button use 3 volt DC and 10 milliampere this ammeter and we when we on this hmm. when we on this toggle button the LED blows up and now our work starts we have to plot the diagram Zero point four, zero point six, and zero point eight. And now we start. We take current. We are increasing voltage, and we find it on point five is here something we have a current very minute and the current is over 0 0.2 like this on 0.6 the current is here. We have current zero point eight one point six. One point seven. We find there is an abrupt abrupt rise in our pitch. It is two. It is 0.75 voltage. And the current is absolute two. Hello. 
all point it it is now you see that, that on slight rise of voltage the current is making huge amount and when the voltage is one it becomes now we plot the graph and it will goes like this so just check it we will do the voltage source the positive and negative this name suggest okay. नेगेटिव से so we make the connection now we will use 30 voltage dc source we will connect positive this negative this two this two and the lower voltage source this to 30 voltage dc down and micro ampere we have chosen the current using this toggle button and now we increase the voltage slowly slowly but we found no reflection in this emitter so we take this to 5 and we find that in micro ampere their current is 4 Current is in micro ampere. They select current to be micro ampere, and the voltage ranges up to 30. Therefore, using 30 volt DC, the voltage source here will be use this, and we make connections according to this. So we start increasing our voltage, and we found that up to 5 voltage there is slight reflection inside emitter. Thus, on 5 voltage we found the current amount is. Five microns. Yeah. Where is it? This one. No wind, please slightly. And on this seven point five volt, the current amount these two eight. Further increase it up to ten. It reached twelve. Hmm. So we found the ten volt. The amount of current is around twelve microvolt. 
Now very please. And I'm 15. We find current is around 30. So I'm 15. We find is 30. And on 17.5, it is 38, around 40. Um, it is near 40, but less than 40. If further increase it, and, and 20, current is 50. Exactly. Now, a slight increase of the current voltage on twenty two point five. Somewhere here, current is complete eighty. And all slight increase of voltage. The current is more than 100. This somewhere here. Slight. It's not raised. 25. It is slight raised. And the current is somewhere here. So if you plot the graph. Graph just look like this. So graph. Current is more than hundred. Okay. So it is a graph of reverse biased, and when we take it is our forward biased graph, and we, when we combine it looks like this. Forward biased, reverse biased. It is a combined graph.